What is up guys, it is Nick, and we are back on Mad 19. We're gonna rip one clutch pack real quick for the fun of it, and then we're gonna get into the team update. Because, why not? It's 40k. Let's have a little bit of fun. Go with the old strat. No elite yet. Oh, here it is. Hey, no, okay, we, we, got, we got Jack Doyle. Jack Doyle's a nice waste of 30k. You are guaranteed some coins there, so... It's not the worst coin investment, but it's, it's not a great one. But let's hop into this. So we'll start with the O-line. We got Russell Okun. Um, I would get the power-up, but there's no power-up for him, so I can't get him to an 88 to get the times two um, go-deep chemistry, and that matters. You'll see in a second. Um, so Steve Hutchinson is my left guard. Should probably get an upgrade for this, but it's not. He, he, he's played decently well, uh, so I'm... I'm just rolling with him for now. Uh, Kevin Mawai, I just have him because he was a limited time and I bought him for the 535k, I think, 535. People were still selling him for man, making less than they could have just qu quick sold him for. But I think I got him for 535, so I essentially if I just quick sell him at this point, I made I made coins, but I'll show you their values go up. So you probably, if you wanted to, if you had a bunch of coins, you could just buy a bunch of these when they're cheap and then sell them for profit later. Um, but yeah, that's why I have him anchoring my def or my offensive line. Uh, Brandon Schreff is my right guard, the power up version. Uh, pretty pretty all right. Um, he's he's done pretty well. The issue I'm having is with him and Ramchek. They're just getting absolutely. They're just getting beat. I don't. It's, this Hutchinson plays better. It's the right side of my line. They're just getting beat sometimes in, in these solo battles, and and I don't I haven't played many online games, but in the solo battles, they're getting they're just getting blitzed, and they're just they just can't handle it. So I might be looking at different offensive linemen, but for now, uh, that's why they're there. Um, the only reason I have this Delaney Walker team diamond is to get the go deep to four stars. It's kind of stupid that I paid 300k to get it to four stars, but I did, and so I have the Delaney Walker, and he's been he's been pretty serviceable for me. He's been a pretty good card for me, and I powered him up, uh, so he's been he's been pretty good. Um, not anything special. Uh, have the Tyler Eifert as the backup just because he had some decent run blocking. I don't really use two tight ends, so uh, really just Delaney Walker. Uh, as our wide receivers, we've got. Uh, I really only I run mostly I run mostly shotgun with four wide, but one of the wide receivers is usually a running back, and one of the wide receivers is TO, and I don't ever throw to the TO. He's more of a distraction route for the other ones. So I really only needed two. There is the AJ Green that I really want, but I haven't. I just haven't messed with the AJ Green yet. I just I just haven't seen the point of it. At this point, um, it cost me about 350k or whatever to get him. Um, so I don't know. Just I just don't see the point. I haven't powered up to the 85. So whenever I decide to get that AJ Green, I, I have that powered up and it'll be good to go. But I just haven't decided to do it yet. Um, but I decided to get the the twin towers on the outside and uh, have the speed, the 91 and 88 speeds. Um, the sp high spec catch and the the good deep route running, uh, and the catch and traffic's just the good catching as well. High jumping, um, and so yeah, Julio plays the one, Moss the two because I usually end up throwing to Moss is more of my slants and get across the middle or deep in routes and stuff like that, uh, which I usually do with my second um, wide receiver and Julio is more of my deep threat deep deep posts and go routes and um fade routes and stuff like that that's more julio uh, and that's what i do with my one number one wide receiver uh antonio brown the power up is is the fourth wide receiver i could play him over to but i just like using the to there's not really there's not a huge difference between them i mean the here we'll compare the the antonio brown is slightly better but I, I don't know. I haven't seen a huge drop off. And the TO is taller. And if I do throw to TO, it's usually in a, in a little bit of contestion. So it doesn't really matter who I play there, in all honesty, because I don't really throw to them. Um, my running backs are TD and the Ricky Williams uh, level up master. I don't really run the ball anymore because 
I mean, I'll mix in the occasional run, especially online, but in solo battles, I really just throw the ball uh, to Julio and Randy. It's pretty much and And then I have, like, usually with the laney, I run an under route um, real close to the line of scrimmage, whether it's a just a, a cross or it's a, just a little stop route or whatever it ends up being. Delaney's just usually my third um, just outlet pass to bail me out. Lorenzo Neal's my fullback. I do use a fullback from time to time. He mostly is, he, I haven't thrown to him and I haven't run with him yet since I got him. Uh, he mostly is just in there for blocking on certain plays. Uh, Vic and Brady are my quarterbacks. You guys knew I'd get the 93. or It's 91. You buy it at 91 and then the power up gets it to 92. And then... Um, the, the go deep tem- chemistry gets it to 93, so that's how I have the 93 Vic. Going to be my quarterback all year, you guys know. <laughs> if Michael Vick's in the game, he's my quarterback. I guess last year, I, I didn't make any videos when he came out as uh, out of position, but I did. I used him out of position, so he wasn't really my quarterback last year, but he was on the team. Uh, defense, this is, this is the no-fly zone on defense. Uh, I love this team. Um... I've started to bring a lot more blitzes, so what happens is I'll play, um, what is it, it's 3-2-5 is the, is the format that I play really, three corners, the two safeties, or two corners and the three safeties depending on the play, or sometimes it's, it's three corners, two safeties, and then Sean Taylor's more of a hybrid linebacker safety. Um, it just kind of depends on the whole, on how it goes. Uh, Bryant Young, this isn't the one I pulled. I sold the one I pulled for like 600 and then I decided I wanted it back. So I rebought it for like 55. So I lost like 15,000 on it, but it was whatever. I decided to get it back because it was cheap. Um, the Kwan Short rarely sees the field. Um, usually only have three down linemen, but he's there just in case. Um, the Jabal Sheard is just there for the times four lockdown because it got me to, um, it got me to the six stars. Derek Brooks, uh, probably my favorite linebacker with Bobby Wagner. I know there's probably better middle linebacker options than Bobby Wagner, but I just, I like this Bobby Wagner power up. The Reuben Foster's just kind of there. He'll get in on plays from time to time. So I'm thinking about upgrading to the Danny Trevathan or maybe... No, it'd probably be the Danny Trevathan as of right now, if I upgraded. Um, Derek Brooks is probably there for a while. This Miles Jack, uh, obviously I could do better, um, but, I, but I like this Miles Jack. He's got pretty good speed, uh, pretty good play, play rack and tackle, uh, pretty good strength. Uh, okay finesse move, okay enough to rush, but he's usually never in there on blitzing downs uh, when I blitz. He's mostly on the team for his man and zone coverage. Uh, cause sometimes I like to put my linebackers in a little bit of coverage. Um, let's see the safeties, Amos and Tyron Matthew. The reason that I have them on the team is for one, their speeds, 87 and 91 is beautiful, but then their coverage stats. So Tyron Matthews is 89 man and 72 or 92 zone, not 92 zone. And then Adrian Amos is his 84 man in 90 zone, 92 play rec and 90 play rec. Um, the way I blitz with five men, usually, usually three down, um, and then, um, the two linebackers, uh, depending on how, sometimes it's a six man blitz with the five, um, with the three corners and the two safeties playing coverage. So these guys have to be able to play man and zone, which they can pretty well. I have had a little bit of issues with Amos just being on the wrong side of, defending a play like he'll be a little bit too far um behind not like behind as in like he's slow and he's not keeping up like behind where he's like there's a gap and it's like easy to throw to the guy but he makes the tackle immediately I've had a little bit of issues with him doing that but other than that he's been pretty good uh champ slay and boye I've had some issues with boye recently in the slot defending people so I might switch him and slay uh, I have three corners out there most of the time anyway boye was much better on the outside when I had him there so I might move him back to the outside and move slay to the slot um where they were before the flashback slay came out uh champ bailey I don't know I, I like champ and I like this card 
and I like his stats. I don't know, just some some plays he just like I don't know, some plays he's just atrocious and it annoys me so much. Um it, it, he's good like ninety eight percent of the time, but there are just some plays where his his card is just atrocious. It just does some stupid stuff. It get it gets beat to like no end, not burned, but like it a guy will do a stop route and Champ will just keep running down the field. He never like figures it out either. He just keeps running until the ball is thrown and caught. It's the weirdest thing with him. It's really only him. Pat Pete does my returning. I have Jabril Peppers in there because I like Jabril Peppers. Uh, punter and kicker, 85s. Not anything special. Specialist, Terrell Davis is both because for some reason when I put James White as my third down running back, James White was just always in the game. I, I don't know. It wouldn't let me have TD in the game ever, so I just put TD as a third down running back because it was all sorts of messed up. Um... T.O. is the slot wide receiver right now, obviously. Boye is the slot corner. I might try out Slay, like I said. Jabal Sheard. This is just what you would expect. Um, the reason I got Khalil Mack over, like, I think Reggie, Reggie over Reggie White, because doing what I did to power up the Khalil Mack is roughly the same price, so I don't know. I just like Khalil Mack, so I wanted Khalil Mack on my team. Um, you know, he's obviously worse, like, the, I'll show you, I'll go and show you, but the comp is obviously worse, but I just like Khalil Mack, so at a certain point to me, it's about who I like, it's not necessarily about, about the best player available. Um, a lot of the time it is at positions where I don't care, but like with the Bobby Wagner even, he's not the best player at the position, I could upgrade, but I just like the Bobby Wagner, so... That's who we have. But you can see the Khalil Mack is clearly a lot worse than this Reggie White. I could just jam in Reggie White. I could sell the Khalil Mack. It cost me about 70 k or whatever to, to make the swap. But I like the Khalil Mack. I like Khalil Mack. He's played pretty well for me. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to go with the player that I like. And it's not that I dislike Reggie White. It's just that I like Khalil Mack more. So that's where we are. But that's going to do it for the team update, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hoping here to get back to regular uploads. We'll get the solo battles and doing all that different stuff um i'll record that different stuff for you guys so we have videos every day and i'll start doing sets and stuff like that to entertain you guys as well but like i said my mom had surgery on her elbow so i've been spending a lot of time with her uh, and she's been off work as well so um haven't been able to do a lot of recording and whatnot but um, in the next week or so, I should be back to fully normal. I thought it'd be this Monday, but it really didn't turn out to be that way. But yeah, guys, stop babbling, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.